History has been made in both a good and bad way for Americans in the Olympic boxing ring. For local boxers, it's either depressing or motivating, depending on your gender. Chris Sadegi has the story. At Richard Lord's boxing gym, American gold medalists are everywhere. From Sugar Ray Leonard to George Foreman, Oscar De La Hoya to Muhammad Ali. And he might have to make more room up on the wall. I mean, the women are kicking butt all over the place. Yes, leave it to the ladies. For the first time ever, the U.S. men's team failed to win one single medal. But in another first, women's boxing made its Olympic debut, and the lady is a champ. I think I might cry about it later. <laughs> or I might just cry when I get the gold medal. A lot of people talking to me, asking me to talk to their kids and their daughters and, and the, that sort of thing. Houston's own Marlon Esparza won bronze, and Clarissa Shields won gold for the Stars and Stripes. In the U.S. and at Lord's Gym, women can rule the ring. Maybe we feel like we have something to prove. Esther Logan has been boxing at Lord's for five years, a place where you can always find women punching. And if you look past the flying fist, this place has the thing every woman wants. I think that at the end of the day, what a woman wants is something that's going to get her in shape. Times have changed a lot, so we do have a chance in everything nowadays. Don't tell Dulce Resentes boxing is a men's sport. She'll give you some hands-on proof. I set up just to watch the Olympics and very motivated by it. So go ahead and brag, ladies. You scored a knockout. As for the men's team, don't worry. Help's on the way. In Central Austin, Chris Sadegi, KXAN News. <laughs> Don't nope. mess with Texas women or Chris. <laughs> oh, Chris. <laughs> Glad he's got a place to get all that anger yeah. out of the system. Fantastic story. Slow things down. A okay. Non-violent. <laughs>